have seen lots of work that could have done much better but it was not properly explained. You, could, you look at a board and you look at a, a video and it's just think, just you need to cut through the shit. You need get, get immediately to the point. What was, what was the idea? How did you get this idea across? And how does it react to me as, a, as someone who needs to evaluate the design? It needs to be outstanding work. It needs to be good. It needs to withstand the competition. It needs to be good. It needs to be well explained. Every year is different and, uh, and um, I've been judging this a couple of years ago and you can see there are always global trends that get repeated and also in India you have obviously a strong cultural component you have uh, lots of design for good you have lots of, uh, of projects that have a very social component um, I would say that the graphic design in general is very much um, sort of there are global trends that get repeated that you have things you have seen before and there are some things that stand out that emerge and that are excellent design and there are obviously there's also some I would say basic things, things that we've seen before. For me as a designer, obviously design is the most important thing. Design is what gives the strategy, if there is one, uh, a body. If, there's this, if the strategy is the structure, the design is the body. So the body needs to be the thing that makes me sort of want to interact with that product, with that interface, with that design, with that um, company. Now everyone is a designer. Uh, we have trends going on where people do crowdsourcing, do, they, do, they crowdsource logos, they crowdsource design. We are exposed to design every day, but there's a, a very much a sort of an inflation going on about design as well. So we are we exposed to lots of things, lots of, lots of uh, I would say, mediocre work, mediocre communication, and this has been a sort of lowering our expectations. So we are now satisfied with almost anything. And uh, it's really, really difficult because there's so many good um, designers, so many good design um, conscious companies out there, not just, I'm not just talking about Apple and all the ones that always get mentioned, but there's so many people who are really into valuing design and, and, and making effort that design becomes part of the company's culture, but it's, it's a difficult task, and especially if you have no clear design education. If you compare the design and the branding uh, sector in India with other countries, obviously, uh, in my opinion, India has great companies, great internationally performing companies, just think of Tata or Wipro or others, uh, that are um, out there, that people know worldwide, products that are uh, used worldwide. And uh, I think there's still, for some of these companies, still a long way to go until these things really become uh, sort of, uh, so that the design culture becomes more important to them. Design is more sometimes more decoration and design needs to fulfill a function and needs to have a strong reason to be and sometimes it's just a bit difficult to separate these two things and leave decoration where decoration belongs to and make good design really become a vehicle to give value to a product or uh, an idea.